Hello, Jose Leveguire from Typico, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find code, which is the first step of the mod development lifecycle. All right, let's look at Apache eCharts. I just found about this amazing site. It has a lot of uh, examples and demos. I recently found out ab about this uh, JavaScript library. It has tons of examples, many, many different categories, and uh, almost everything is here, really. And the cool part about this is that, for example, if I select this chart, I can make changes, I can test, I can develop the code right here, and then it's going to render right and some other sites. You have to copy paste in a, a similar environment so you can see how the code actually works. Let's look at this other JavaScript library, Viz.js. Maybe you are interested in a timeline or network charts, and they have this interesting graph 3D. Let me, let's look at the examples. And they have many examples. For example, this uh, bar chart, this 3D bar chart that can hold many, many, um, many uh, measures. And, uh, or this one, for example, that maybe you want to perform a uh, a visualization with terrain, you can uh, make some changes, but it's not as straightforward as Apex when it comes to um, porting the code into JavaScript. Finally, let's look at Citoscape. Citoscape is more um, a, a graphing library uh, for visualization and analysis, which it has uh, a lot of uh, graph theory examples and, and different charts. So this, this might be also something worth to look at. Exploring JavaScript libraries this way is a good way to get inspired to create new visualizations. But in this case, I know exactly what I'm looking for. And this, in this different approach, I'm going to show you how. I open Google and then I start searching, um, in this case, difference chart. And I use this keyword site, it's a search keyword for Google that is going to only search in a specific site. I like to search first in code pen. IO because it's straightforward. Then I go to images and uh, I start, if there's something I am interested, I control click to open multiple tabs and then I open code pen to see what's, uh, what's there. But I'm looking for a specific chart that I don't see here. So I'm going to find a search in a different site. So now I'm going to search instead of code pen, I'm going to search in blocks dot org of course there's a dot between l and o and this website is from mike stock which is one of the key developers for the d3 js visualization library and here i see one visualization that is exactly what i'm looking for all these images are only in this website so i'm going to open this one and um, i see many other related images these related images come from different websites but I'm interested in the one in blocks because I know that it's very easy for me to copy and paste the code. I, it's not as interactive as the other ones, uh, other libraries, but here I can just copy paste the code. And I already did that in CodePen before I poured it into Spotfire. Mm -hmm. 